Okay, back with you on the Bronx Buzz. I'm thrilled because Joe Conzo is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I could do a drum roll on my microphone. The um, um, legendary hip-hop photographer and so many other things, 9-11 hero and everything else that he's done. And being my friend, which is a nice thing. Joe Conzo Jr., nice to see you, sir. Hey, Gary. <laughs> he's waving to me. Um, <laughs> listen, we have had this uh, a dialogue before about uh, because you've got a, a show coming up. Uh, the opening is, uh, this will air Thursday night, so the opening is tomorrow night. Uh, March 22nd, but it'll be up through April 21st at uh, the Bronx Documentary Center. I, I thought I would ask you this. I don't even know if I've ever asked you this. Now that it seems clear, and including from the photos that are behind you, we're going to see some photos uh, that are in the show, that you are known as the hip-hop photographer. Does it get old? Do you, do you uh, think about all right, I know, I was there, I took the pictures, I got all the pictures, everybody's seen them, you know. Um, or is it? does it still give you a thrill and say, wow, this was a it, moment in time I haven't have been there? Gary, you know? listen, I'm happy to, to, to wear that moniker, that, that hat, yeah. so to speak, of being the man who took hip-hop's baby pictures. But if you do a deep dive into my archives, it's so much more than just hip-hop. Um, as you already know, my dad, Joe Sr., uh, was Tito Puente's personal confidant. So I have a lot of pictures of, you know, the Latin greats, Tito Puente, uh, Celia Cruz, Hector Lavo, my grandmother, the late, great Evelina Antonetti, Dr. Evelina Antonetti. featured at Hostos Community College all this week. Exactly. You know, just interject. Yeah. big community activists, uh, you know. So when I wasn't with the hip hop, group or with my dad i was hanging out with my grandmother at all these demonstrations like fort apache the bronx and you know the board of ed and then it was just joe and the camera walking the streets of the bronx and so you were still doing it despite the fact that maybe it wasn't history yeah, it was, so, you know, it was part of you photography there's so many different lanes you can approach and go mm -hmm. through and i dabbled a little bit of everything but I'm known for my hip hop. Well, obviously, Do you, um, uh, because obviously in, in the old days you were using film and now it's digital. You love the digital age or do you still wish you could kind of do what you used to do? Listen, like, obviously, you don't want to pay for the developing. I it, get that. It, it, you know, if you love anything, you have to know where it came from and how it started. Right. You know, back in the days, you and I wouldn't be able to do what we're doing right now. Absolutely you true. I mean? Back in the days, four years ago. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, I do miss the film. I try and shoot film at least one roll a month. Or, or Do you? Or, that, that was interesting. That's interesting to me. It just, you know, you got to keep it grounded to how, you know, you started. Wow, uh, Digital photography is just, if you want to stay relevant or current, you well, have to. So it, listen, let's face it, it's a lot faster and you can do a yeah. lot more. With you still shoot black and white? Like you see the world uh, iconic in that Oh, way? yeah. All the roles of film I shoot are oh, all black and white. Black and white. Wow. And then with the digital, if I, if I like it, I can take the color out and convert it to black and white. When you wake up in the morning or when you look out your window or when you go down a Bronx street or whatever, do you see it in black and white? Or do you say this will look good in black and white? Or do your eyes all of a sudden look at it like that? I and right after this, we're going to show some pictures. You know, it, to me, black and white is more colorful. If you can wow. understand what I'm right. saying, you know, it just gives it that authentic feeling. You know, color is a, is, is, is a, a medium uh, that, that you have to pretty much, you know, grasp it because there's, there's so many different colors that, that humans see. Black and white, there's so many shades. You can, and see, the just, whole, just, you, you can see the whole scene, yeah. Yeah. All right, um, so now we should mention, so it's called Conzo, A Look Back at the Bronx, 19, 1977 to 84. Um, so in a way, I, you know, distorted the reality by saying, oh, it's a hip-hop show, but it's really the, the culture of, of that era in the borough of the Bronx. It's, the, it's, it's almost like my meat and potatoes of the Bronx, Okay. Because Gary, you you know, seventy seven to eighty four mm -hmm. was a pivotal time in the Bronx. The Bronx was burning. We had two presidents come visit the Bronx. That's right. 
you know, Reagan and, and, and Carter, you know, you yeah, that you, movie, which we're going to see a couple of, you know, shots Fort Apache, the Bronx, you right. know, was being filmed. Right. Um, you know, it, it was just so much going on in the Bronx in that period, that short period of time, the right. birth of hip hop, you know, you know, hip hop coming to fruition, Latin jazz, Latin yeah, well, the, the, you could, we could spend a lot of time listing the musics that we that we invented. I have to say. Yes. All right, so let's um, let's take a look. We're going to just a sample. This is what's going to see what people will see at the Bronx Documentary Center. Uh, a look back at the Bronx, nineteen seventy-seven to eighty-four. Anderson's made this selection, so let's see what he's got. Okay, here we go. Fort Apache, right? And that's taken right there in Cortland Avenue, right around the corner from the BDC. And I love wow. how the cobble streets. You know, look at the streets. Anti-Puerto um, Rican, anti-black movement. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, do you know any of those people? Uh, Even today? Probably not. Not in that particular shot. All right. All right. But you know that. some of them. All right. Yeah. Keep going. Let's do it. Oh, this is the one that's behind you, right? Yeah. And that's a typical uh, block party. Third Typical Avenue. block party. Uh, block party uh, right in front of the old Wiz on 3rd Avenue and 156th Street, 57th uh -huh. Street. And I was shooting from the Wiz, looking down. And uh, that's the mean machine. Wow. That, you know, there's something amazing about that. And th th there are a number of things amazing. The number of people... And for you to say that's just a typical block party, folks, today, think of that if that being a typical scene. And these these were not riotous. These were just people, Bronx people being people, multi-ethnic, expressing themselves, developing a new way of, of, of music, of speaking of the world, using the rap and the rhythms to... Right. Just, I mean, I'm taking the, I'm having, taking it away from you. Right. And just having fun, Gary, having fun. Wow. That's what As, and, 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 you know, you think about a people, any people that are going through a traumatic thing, which of course was the burning of the Bronx and then having this come and say, wait a minute, we're still here. We're uh, listen, most Kanamas, we know about all that. Um, we're still here. We stay, this is our home. This is our culture. And we've, we're, we're creating it. How exciting. It is. And that's one of the things that I tried to portray in this exhibition, you know, as bad as we were portrayed in Hollywood movies. <laughs> in Fort Apache, the Bronx. And in media, there was a lot of beautiful things going on in the Bronx. Right. And then this was one of them. All right. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Now, what is this? <laughs> so I was brought up. If you love something so much, you, you know, the, 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 the humble beginnings of photography. And this is my attempt at light painting. And everybody knows Pablo Picasso as a painter, but he was also a photographer. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. He did a lot okay. of light painting. And that's me experimenting with black and white film. And I'm not going to go into, you know, how I did it, but it, that picture took about 10 minutes to do. Wow. Or unlike the others where you just stood there and, and yeah. snapped the, the shutter. Yeah. Um, should we ask who that is? That's me. Oh, that that's you? That's me. I actually could, could we camera. show that again? Could I you put could the camera wow. on a tripod? It look, it look, frankly, it looks like um, the legs. I mean, I don't know what your legs so look I'm like. So I'm flashing but... this three flashes. It's what we call a time lapse photo. Wow. And yeah. that's me standing up in the corner. So that took a few minutes to do, but like if you know anything about photography, film records light. So there's no light, it's wow. pitch black in my living room. And I'm just doing experimenting. I'm fascinating. Well, these are these are the kinds of things that people will see. Keep going. We got. I think we got a couple more. There, and there's there's many of them. Now look at this. Well, again, another thing. If you're not part of the problem, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. And one thing that my grandmother and my mother portrayed with uh, United Bronx Parents, their organization, is that um, if we can't get the city to do anything, we're going to do it ourselves. And we're cleaning up vacant lots making them accessible wow. to, to the youth. And, and this, the, you know, it's funny. When I looked at that picture, I said, well, these are the people who saved us. These, these are the people who said, okay, this happened, our home, we take care of it. We're going to take bid. control of it and, yeah. and do something about it. Wow, tremendous. All right. I, I don't know how many more we have, Anderson. Yeah. 
Um, this is Charlotte Street. Charlotte Street wow. was the poster child of uh, of the Bronx at the time, and this is during Reagan's visit to to the Bronx. Um, this is during the Democratic National Convention in New York City, wow. and Jose Rivera, Assemblyman Jose Rivera, put together his own People's Convention in the Bronx, and they hung up a three story Puerto Rican flag uh, to protest what was going on at Madison Square Garden with the DNC going on wow. and Reagan coming to visit, trying to solicit votes. And then there's that famous video of somebody yelling at him. And yes. He's saying, oh, oh, you know, we can, what government can't do everything. Yeah. And, uh, That's uh, why I need your votes. You need to vote. Yeah. 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 And, this, Daniel, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and also, you know, you don't have pictures of it. Of course, it's a historic moment. I'm just thinking of that era 1978, Howard Cosell got that wide shot above uh, Yankee Stadium. Yeah, and Yankee and Stadium. I remember it to this day. And I was like, oh. and, and he said, Lady, ladies and gentlemen, the Bronx is burning. My word. Anyway, Joe, so um, this is going to be a, a, another great joy from you. I know we did the one at, at um, Hostos Community College a little while back. But uh, so the opening reception is um, Friday, March 22nd. That's um, we, we start airing this on Thursday. So you'll be able to see it tomorrow night. But the exhibit is open uh, through April 21st. Uh, the gallery hours Thursday and Friday, 3 to 7, Saturday and Sunday, 1 to 5. The address, if you need it, 364 East 151st Street in the Bronx. Uh, you must be really proud. Must be really I am, happy. Gary. This is, this is a, a solo show. I've been a part of some of the biggest group shows yep. around the world, around the country. And this, to me, is almost like a coming home show. Yeah, yeah, well, because you do, you like you just told us that you know this was a picture down the block from the Bronx, um, yeah, the documentary center. So it it really is this this is this is the the local show. All right, we yeah. got got about one minute. Um, I, I, do you go out and shoot photographs and say, oh, I'm going to take pictures today, or do I you can, just go I, out I, and live your life and then everywhere you say, oh, I go, I have everywhere I go, I have a camera with me. Uh oh. Everywhere. Even even now, you're going to record this. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, Joe, listen, uh, you're the best. Uh, you know I love you, and um, I, I'm going to come out there definitely for the opening. I hope everybody gets to see it. It's our it's our home. It's our culture. It's our lives. And uh, maybe nobody has captured it better than uh, Joe Conzo Jr. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gary. Great. Okay, folks, uh, that will do it. We thank Samantha. Of course, we thank Joe for his generations of, um, of, uh, of, of artwork in, in the Bronx. And uh, that's it for uh, this evening on the Bronx Buzz. If the curtain don't fall and the creek don't rise, right, I'll be back next week. 